now let's talk about how we'll be talking about animation all right so here is one of the more important topics in android application so android supports two kinds of animation one is the frame animation and the second one is the queen animation so whenever i talk about a frame animation all right so a frame animation is one which is driven by a series of frames all right a series of frames is drawn one after the other at regular intervals okay pradeep yes which code do you want uh, the one that we are covering in today's class we'll be sending you an email with the link to the video as well as to the coding examples pradeep all right so i was telling you about the frame animation so a frame animation is a series of frames which are drawn one after the other at regular intervals so frame by frame animation is handled by the animation drawable class so this is the class that handles the frame animation let's take an example for this so if i talk about a frame animation what i need is first of all i need an activity all right so my frame animation activity extends the activity here i have a few objects all right one is the image view so if i go on to the declaration of the activity layout here you can see so here i have a linear layout sorry i have a relative layout here and under the relative layout i have just placed an image view you can see that this is the relative layout that i have at present and under this i have an image view if i just show you where the image view is so this is the place where the image view is you can see that right so this is the where place where image view is now in the activity what i'm doing is i'm creating an image view get the instance of the image view and here i'm setting as the background resource image view what i'm setting as the background resources the animation list so you can see i have placed a drawable you can go, if i go on to the resources drawable here i have an animation list dot xml if i open this up you can see a lot many objects here you can see an animation list so it is like the opening and closing tags to the animation list and we are, here we have various drawables all right so if i just go on to the drawable htpi folder get all those drawables here i'll tell you how exactly the frame animation works all right so here i go i go to my desktop and i say images i do a control v here and if i go on to show you every item here all right so this can, this is like uh, i'm containing 32 images here now let me show you how exactly the frame animation works so the way i'm doing it the same way is utilized by android what i'm doing is i'm just changing the images and you can see an animation working up can you all see that so the changing that i'm doing manually with the next press of the button here will be done with the help of the frame animation all right so if i close here I go on to the activity. In this activity, I have a set of drawables. So these are the drawables that I have already placed. These drawables are frames in motion. All right. Now here we have one shot falls. That means the frame animation will go on and on. I'll just show it to you by running it up. here is my main activity and you can see the frame animation working up and since the one shot equal to false it again starts again going into the loop if i say one shot equal to true and i set it to true 
That's correct, like the Jeff files, Neladri. If I set it to true, it will just run up single time. Now it will just run up one time and it won't be repeating again. And now it will just stop. And let me tell you one more interesting fact about this. Here we have used a duration attribute. Right? So the duration between the change of frames it is presently 200. So let's change it up to 100 and see the animation working up a lot more faster. So I replace them all. Once I do that, I do a run as and now the animation will be a lot quicker. And you can see that it is a lot quicker now. All right. So let me just tell you a few things. Sir. Can anybody tell me why is frame animations not the preferred mode of usage of animations? Can anybody think about it? Can you all just respond back onto the chat window? I do not use frame animations much. Asif says because we have to create images first. I'm so, I'm just asking Ladri. What I'm asking is that as an as a developer, I won't be using the frame animation at all. Can you think of the possible reasons why I why I won't be using the frame animation at all? That's correct, Asif. Very good, very good, very good point that you made here. Pradeep, can you just elaborate more on onto the time is efficiency? No, that's not that is not something, uh, Pradeep, which is of uh, much uh, I would say, which is much lacking or say would give you a degraded performance. That's not the case, Pradeep. I need some responses from everyone. Even if they are wrong, I don't care. Uh, even if you are wrong, it's all fine. At least you should try up. Why I won't be using a frame animation? Why as a developer I would be reluctant to use a frame animation? I need responses from everyone, Shivraj, Sagar, everyone. Alright, loss of memory, no space because frame animation is not to make flash. All right, so I'll tell you the reason why I won't be using a frame animation. First of all, is first of all the reason would be I'll be actually needing all the images that are in a frame or are in a motion. First of all, that is something that I have to take care. Of. So as a as a UI designer, my task gets increased. Secondly, just to make yourself a frame. An animation I'm using around say 32 images, which is again not an intensive operation. All right? And the third one could be because the frame animation is actually whenever the window has focus. If you would have seen here, you can see the window has focus. Alright? But what if I do not have the focus on the element? Then why well, then I cannot also use the frame animation. So these are the few factors which actually make us not use the frame animation at all. I hope everybody understands the factors that I have told you. All right. So then, if we cannot use the frame animation, what what we should go for? Yes. Then we'll be going for the tween animation. All right. So I'll just close this up. Has everybody understood how the frame animation works? 
any person having any doubts in this particular sample, you can respond back onto the chat window. Then we'll be taking the tween animation from now on. I hope this is clear to everyone. Can you all quickly respond back onto the chat window? All right.